Janet was nervous and anxious. It had been a week since the family pet, a cat named Lion, disappeared. The woman, with her husband and son, covered all the vacant places in the city with missing ads, called the veterinary services of the surrounding communities, but all was in vain. The cat was like disappeared into thin air. Her husband was busy with work, her son was busy at school, and Janet spent day after day driving around town in hope, checking out all the back alleys. Today, she spent half the day searching and then realized how wildly tired she was. So, the woman returned home early. She sat down on the front porch with a cup of iced tea. A beautiful face frowned tensely. Janet tried to remember if she had checked out all the streets around her. Neighbors were tidying their front lawns. Someone was humming a lawnmower. Someone was trimming bushes. The neighbor across the street was carefully shoveling the old leaves out from under the dense bushes. Janet thought she should work on her own patch. Suddenly, the neighbor shrieked and backed away from the green living fence. Immediately, the curious neighbors dropped what they were doing and ran to her. Not that Janet was interested, but she went too, or they would say she was not caring for others. When the woman crossed the street, all the neighbors moved apart for some reason, looking away. Only the landlady, with a sorrowful face, was wringing her hands. She came up to Janet and said she was sorry then stepped aside and pointed to a pile of dead leaves. Something furry was visible in it. Janet stepped closer and saw her beloved cat. The animal was lying on its side. There was a bright black spot on its dirty fur and several smaller black marks on its muzzle. She did not laboriously examine the location of each spot. She knew it was lying. The neighbors were discussing quietly behind her back that the poor fellow had probably been hit by a car. They nodded sympathetically at Janet and left to go about their business, while the woman remained standing, staring unbelievingly at the breathless body. Then she called her husband and asked him to hurry over. Her husband carefully wrapped the cat in his favorite fluffy towel and carried it to the backyard of their house. There the family said goodbye to Lion. Janet promised herself to take great care of the hydrangea bush, which was the last resting place of their four-legged friend. That evening. The woman could not sleep for a long time. She quietly went down to the living room, wrapped herself in a blanket on the couch, and switched on her laptop. The computer stored many photos and videos of Lion. Her husband and son had always made fun of Janet's habit of filming everything on camera. Janet had a fight with her husband that day. They were on vacation in another country. Apparently, the amount of time spent together exceeded the allowable limit because the beloved man suddenly became terribly annoying. The woman then slammed the door of the restaurant and ran along the promenade away. Unnoticed, she walked out onto the beach. Her high heels were sinking into the sand, but Janet stubbornly kept walking. At one point, she fell and twisted her ankle. Sitting on the wet sand, crying in pain and self-pity, she heard a strange sound, some muffled coughing. Janet looked around, but no one was around. Then she looked closely at the rocks. Not far away, among the boulders, was a little kitten. A big fish tail was sticking out of its mouth. The animal was coughing and trying to burp food. Apparently, a bone from the backbone was stuck in its throat. Then Janet thought that the baby was clearly worse off than she was. And anyway, the problems she had fantasized to herself were nothing. For one could lose a loved one at any moment from a bone stuck in one's throat. The woman kicked off her shoes and waddled to the kitten. The cat tried to escape, but Janet's husband appeared on the other side. The animal froze in fear. The woman quickly pointed her husband toward the kitten with the fish. The man lunged forward sharply, grabbed the kitten and held it tightly while Janet pulled out the bone stuck in his mouth. The kitten's mouth immediately filled with red saliva. People panicked. It was difficult at night in a resort town in another country, but they made it although they lost their expensive shoes on the way. The doctor examined the kitten and said that the scratch on the palate would heal quickly, but the rest of the problems needed to be treated. The shivering kitten had parasites, shingles, and an eye infection. The hotel room turned into a branch of the hospital, but the couple made up and devotedly cared for the animal. The towel-wrapped baby was placed on the bed, and he quickly climbed out of the fluffy captivity 
and jumped up and down on the bedspread like a deer. Janet wiped away a tear. It took a lot of stress and money to get a passport for a stray animal and bring him home, but the son welcomed the new member of the family with enthusiasm. The boys became friends right away, and in the years that followed, the two of them did a lot of pranks together. Here's an example of one of their little pranks. The son spilled milk during breakfast. The kitten immediately stepped in a puddle, and when Janet tried to catch him to wash him, the animal, under the happy laughter of her son, ran away along the dark parquet and a beautiful carpet. There were many wet little paw prints forming. This photo came out by accident. The family had organized a barbecue in the backyard. The husband tried a big plate of sausages and put them on a low table under a tree. While they went to get drinks, the son took a picture of a grown-up lion. The cat diligently chased the butterfly around the yard. Apparently, the insect liked the smell of fried meat. The butterfly flew right over the plate of sausages, and Lion followed it with his tail fanning menacingly. The cat had no butterfly-like grace, so he ran headlong into the fragrant sausage pile and scattered everything around. The smell of food seemed more attractive to Lion than further hunting, so he instantly grabbed one sausage and flew straight to the nearest rose bush. The humans didn't go through the thorny branches to get the thief. Lion purred happily and ate his prey. That barbecue was memorable for a long time. The low table in the garden was replaced by a high one, and butterflies were always chased away from the cooked dinner. It didn't take Janet long to get the last pictures of Lion. The mature cat had calmed his wild temper, had become more settled and dignified. He got his own chair which could not be occupied by any member of the family. Lion liked to lounge on the cushions, elegantly hanging down his tail. In the picture, he was blissfully squinting at the sunlight coming right into his eyes. The photo was taken just after the animal's birthday party. Generally, the family did not know the exact date, but set a specific day to hold the celebration. The birthday was a success. Lion was given a huge basket of his favorite canned cat food and cat treats, and the cherry on the cake were new toys, wind-up mice, balls, and feathers on a stick. Although the cat has matured, he has not lost his love of games. Fed up, Leon then waddled to his cozy little nest. He could not even jump in at the first attempt, but overcame the obstacle and happily stretched out on the chair. Janet quickly took a picture. She had never seen Lion so happy, peaceful, and gluttonous. Tears came to her eyes again. The woman tried to pull herself together, but nothing helped. Then she drank a sedative and fell asleep. In the morning, after walking her husband to work and sending her son to school, Janet hurried to the garden. She was about to perfect the appearance of the hydrangea, Lion's last sanctuary. The woman knelt in front of the bush, put on gloves, and began to trim the dry twigs. Janet shuddered and stared in horror at the dug-up ground. Seconds passed, nothing happened. The woman sighed in relief. She thought she hadn't slept enough, so she started to see strange things. Janet decided to drink some cold lemonade and put on her hat, though it wasn't yet hot. But she didn't rule out the possibility of sunstroke. When the woman returned to the garden, she looked up at the hydrangea bush and screamed in horror. Janet fainted on the grass from an overload of emotion. The loud scream caught the attention of a neighbor. He peered over the fence and froze with goggling eyes. Lion was sitting under a hydrangea bush. Still, the man managed to pull himself together. He quickly climbed over the barrier, picked up the unconscious Janet, and carried her into the house. Just in case, the neighbor closed the back door tightly and propped it with a chair, and then called the owner of the house and told him about the incident. When Janet regained consciousness, the neighbor was sitting next to her. He gave her water, patted her on the shoulder, and informed her that he would not go outside until the woman's husband returned. Janet immediately remembered lying and ran to the backyard. As soon as she pulled back the chair and opened the garden door, the neighbor fled through the front door. He didn't want to meet the ghost. Janet stepped out into the backyard and a fluffy cat was immediately at her feet. The cat petted and purred, not understanding why her mistress did not take him in her arms. And frightened Janet warily shifted her gaze from the living and warm animal to the untouched earthy mound. The woman sat down, held out her arms, and immediately Lion snuggled closer to his mistress. Janet stepped into the house as if in a trance. She automatically took the cat into the kitchen 
and fed his favorite canned food. As soon as Lion had finished his meal, he went to his favorite spot in the living room. When her husband returned home, he caught an idealistic picture. His wife was sitting on the couch, stirring tea in a mug. Their beloved cat was peacefully snoozing in the cushions on the armchair. Unlike his neighbor, the man did not trust mystical explanations, so he examined Lion from all sides. There was no doubt that it was the same animal they had once brought into the house. Then the man took a shovel and went into the garden. There was another cat under the hydrangea, but now his eyes were not blinded by grief, so the owner noticed the difference. Yes, the cats were very similar in coloring, but they were completely different animals. The family's joy was boundless. Their beloved lion was back. No one knew where he was, and who cares as long as he is there again. The cat was surrounded by care and attention. He received the best bites and purred blissfully from the depths of the pillows. There was only one thing that made Lion nervous. His favorite towel, in which he often slept, was gone. But people are so inconstant, they could have put it somewhere and forgotten it, so the cat appointed a plaid as his favorite nesting place. The homeless cat was left lying under the hydrangea. Even though he had no owners when he was alive, now he was taken care of. And rumors began to circulate among neighbors about zombie animals that came to their owners in the darkest of nights. Janet only giggled and marveled at the people's imagination. Would you like more stories? Welcome to the channel. Here, you'll be immersed in an atmosphere of light-hearted coziness and unpredictability. Each story is unique, intriguing, and very soulful. By the way, I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and activate the notification bell to receive the latest updates. See you next time.